when I do it from the back side, I take the back side of the blade again, like I marked on some other things earlier, and I just start tearing it. Okay. And to me, that feathered edge of being torn is somewhat better anyway than um, actually cutting. Okay. So. I guess you could do a mix of both, too, if you want. You that's can add, right. Add some cuts and add some general tearing, and away you go. Yeah. This is a little thicker paper. Sometimes I use construction paper, and it's a little thinner. But this is railroad board, but that's all right. It's going to work. And so there we go. Now, all right. what Larry Let's likes to do that. then is airbrush it to get this Need black something, effect. Something light behind it here. Yeah, here. There, like that, Th to there, see there what go. it looks like. Yeah. And so. that's getting that torn, weathered, well <laughs> used look yeah. to it. Yeah, like it's been on the roof for a few years that's and right. it's had uh, the elements tackling that's it. That's right. Yep. And what I've been doing with it, and I should probably have this seal first, but I think it'll work now. We go back to our old trusty magic marker that I like so much. Mm -hmm. And we can actually, if we just barely touch some of that, we can get some of the same look that Larry gets with his airbrush. 